Welcome back and happy Thursday, everybody, and almost happy Christmas, uh, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, Merry freaking winter. Let's just go with that. Merry freaking winter. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's having a good week so far, including this awesome Thursday. For me, it's been a very complicated week. In fact, uh, I'm actually recording this a lot later than I wanted to right before Thursday, obviously, but um, we're getting it done. Nonetheless, happy Thursday, everybody. And currently we are doing the battle arena. So, so to bring people up to speed, last time we got access to the keystone for the Temple of the Ancients, but Dio had it, and Dio had one simple request, do the battle arena. And it's simply just to get people into this uh, part of the gameplay, because you're gonna be coming back later. And so you at least need to understand how this works and how to counter certain things. As you notice, like when you beat a particular fight, you get a new uh, problem ahead of you. So we've had a broken accessory, now I can't summon anymore. So there goes my strategy, because it's gone, but that's all right. Um, if you're expecting to win in this one, it's, I mean, it's possible. I've seen people do it, but it's not exactly the easiest thing to do. Oh, and now our armor's broken, so we'll be taking more damage. But yeah, I'm recording this a little bit later than usual because it's been a busy last couple of weeks. Holy crap, it's been kind of a roller coaster, and uh, I actually have some good news and some weird news. <laughs> Part of the reason it's been so busy is I actually have an announcement to make. Um, I just found out that uh, Andrea is pregnant with our second child, so we've been very busy announcing that to people. <laughs> oh no, I have no, I have no MP. We've been very busy announcing that to people, and uh, first of all, thank you so much to the members of the community that already kind of found out through social media, and I'm now just barely letting everybody else know. So, that's why. We've been announcing it to everybody, and we, we decided to do family and, um, family and friends first, before we put it up on social networks and all that stuff, but... Uh, the kind of bad announcement to that is that obviously a second child is coming, so that kind of ups the stakes in my own life, and... I'm not saying that it's affecting the channel right now, because I can't really attest to anything just yet. But I can't necessarily deny that it won't have an effect later on. But at least this comes at a more happier time, because people might know that... Over the last couple of weeks, we've had a few funerals to attend, so this is at least something happy to come out of that. <laughs> Although it is disappointing, and, and it's, well, not disappointing, it's it's downright depressing how a lot of these have worked out, but um, we're very happy that Andrea has a baby on the way, and that can at least lend some happiness. And I guess the first, the, the first thing that I need to answer, because somebody's probably going to ask it, is... Uh, where am I with it? And I'm still kind of shocked with, with it, to be perfectly honest. We've got another baby on the way. That definitely changes things quite a bit because uh, my daughter currently is just over two. So that'll put her at about three when the baby is born. And uh, she's going to have to be a big sister. She can't be the baby of the house anymore, and, and we'll have to make sure she knows that. Well, she could still kind of be the baby of the house, I guess, but we're going to encourage her to step out of that because now she's going to have a baby sister or brother to take care of. So there you go. That's the announcement. Um, I apologize for it getting to you guys so late, but uh, it only seemed fair to just put it in a video so that people could get it and uh, it wouldn't be too roundabout <laughs> for people to get it. But I'll probably also do a, a formal announcement on Facebook and, and Twitter just to let people know on the matter. Um, and I guess other major announcements are, the other reason that I've been so busy is we, we're upgrading and we're cleaning and we're doing a bunch of stuff to my office so that when we start things up next year, we're in a really good spot. <laughs> and people might be wondering why I'm not really fighting back at this point. I'm, I'm just looking to, to lose. I've already had enough bad rolls happen here that I might as well just come back here when uh, I have everything that I need because we will eventually be coming back here uh, there's some awesome materia and in fact this is actually the way you get Cloud's final limit break is doing the battle arena so we will get that then all you do is die and you're done 
but it's been plenty, plenty busy also because of holiday stuff. Hmm, that's the best you could do. Well, a promise is a promise. Go ahead, take it. So now we have the keystone. Well then, we shall meet again. <laughs> I made you sound like Santa Claus. I didn't even try to do that. But hey, it worked. So on our way out of the battle arena, we have the keystone, which means we can continue our quest. So we might as well just uh, take the station and get out of here. I meant take the station and get out of here. There we go. Okay, so, oh, uh oh, somebody else is out here, what the heck. Excuse me, sir. You're excused? I'm sorry, the tram is out of order right now. Okay, so, yeah, that's, that's kind of my reaction. I'm really sorry. I'm afraid you won't be able to leave until it's fully repaired. Okay. What's wrong? Oh, too bad. It happens, though. I'm sure it does. It is a carnival. I know. Let's stay here at the hotel. They know me here. I'll go talk to them. Well, I guess it does pay to know people, especially in the gold saucer. I will let you know when once the repairs are complete. Uh-huh. Sure you will. Well, let's go ahead and get some rest. There's really nothing else we can do. Oh, but we get a cutscene in the middle of it. So this is our full party. We don't usually get the chance to be together like this, huh? Nope. Cloud, how about it? Can you tell us what's happened so far? Even though we're in a Let's Play and anybody else can go through Pot 1, I don't really know what's going on because I wasn't here in the beginning. Crap, you made a good point. Yeah, I'm all, of, I'm all for it. Oh, yep. Good idea. I've been here since the beginning. I still don't know what the hell's going on either. I'm sure you don't, Barrett. Cloud, the hell's going on? Come on, tell us. I'm tired, or I'll give it a shot. We'll give it a shot. <sighs> We're going after Sephiroth. Sephiroth must be in search of the Promised Land. Okay, this much we know. Promised Land? Hell's that? A land full of Mako energy. Or at least that's what the Shinra believe. I don't know if it actually exists. The Cetras return to the Promised Land, a land that promises boundless happiness. Cetra? That's some kind of disease? If so, don't give it to me! That's what the ancients call themselves. Oh! Hey, didn't you listen to the elders at Cosmo Canyon? Yes. You don't know where the Promised Land or the ancients, uh, or the Promised Land of the ancients is. You search and travel until you feel it. Like you just know, this is the promised land. Okay. Eris, can you feel it too? I think so. So Sephiroth is traveling the world because he's searching for the promised land. Is that it? Are you kidding me? This is more complicated than that that and one other thing he's been searching for. The Black Materia. I heard from Dio that a man in a black cape was looking for the Black Materia. Oh boy! I don't even know what the Black Cape is. Well, it's black and it's a cape. How many men with black capes and number tattoos are there? You know, of course, my tattoo is number 13. How did you get that tattoo? Hojo put it on me. Everything else is just war scars, but the number was done by Hojo. 
Because of course he did. So there are at least 13? You know... I think Hojo did something to those men in the black caves. <laughs> you think? But I don't know what it has to do with Sephiroth, though. That's why I think we should just go after Sephiroth himself. Yeah, probably. Yeah, me too! It's all just too damn confusing! I'm sure it is. And... I'm sorry, forget it. I think I'm tired. I'm gonna go to bed now. What was that all of a sudden? What? That's it? I'm going to bed. Have fun with that, Yuffie. Is that all? How about the black materia? You wouldn't understand even if I told you. In other words, Cloud doesn't know. Now all we gotta do is take action! Starting tomorrow! Okay. Cloud. I'm number 13. Am I going to go mad too? This is a logical question, actually. I'm glad they added it. I don't know what Hojo did to you, but you've been alright so far, right? But... Be strong. But I... Stop it, Red 13! Be strong! Dang it! Jeez! I'll admit, that's kind of a corny line. Tifa, you're not the only one who's worried. And it's fixed. I don't know what's going on, but we're in a bad situation! You think? Hey, Sid. Let's go back to our rooms. Sid doesn't need to wait for a bed. He's already passed out. <laughs> yeah, this is a place where I'd want to sleep. A torture chamber. Oh, hi, Tifa. Cloud. What's wrong? I thought about what I was going to say, but it's kind of embarrassing. Okay. Hey, Cloud. Why don't the two of us sneak out of here and spend some time together? Can we please? Can we? Come on, let's go. Hey, hey. So, technically, you can either have this moment with Eris or Tifa. And I worked my butt off to have it with Tifa, even though I guess it's canonically supposed to be Eris. Tonight's enchantment night. All the attractions are free. How about it, you two? There's going to be an entertaining show in Event Square. Is there now? Come on, let's go! I don't know. Usually when they try to rope you in, it's for extra money. Congratulations. You are our hundredth couple today. You two will be the leads in tonight's show. Or red, dry eyes. What? Oh, now, it's not hard. Just play it however you want to, and the rest of the cast will cover up for you. Because they're that good. Come this way. Hey! Sounds like fun. Come on, Cloud, let's give it a try. I'm gonna have fun with this, because anytime they give me a play, I like to ham it up. Long, long ago, an evil shadow appeared over the peaceful kingdom of Galdia. Princess Rosa was just kidnapped by the evil dragon king, Valvados. What will become of her? See, people overact and underact. Just then, the legendary hero, Alfred, appears. Oh, you must be the legendary hero. Alfred. Hey, it's your line. Psst, psst. Yeah, you! Ahem. 
Oh, you must be the legendary hero, Alfred. I know in my soul. Please, please save Princess Rosa. Now, please talk to the king. <laughs> I'm gonna have fun with this. Oh, legendary hero, Alfred. You have come to save my beloved Rosa. On the peak of a dangerous mountain dwells the evil dragon king, Valvados, who's kidnapped Princess Rosa. Oh no! But you can't beat the evil dragon king now. You need to talk to one who can help you. I should have shattered him. We can shatter the wizard. Who will you talk to, the knight or the wizard? Uh, it doesn't really matter at this point because the play just goes out the way it does. I don't think you even get a bonus item. I am the great wizard, Vorman. What do you wish to know? The evil dragon king's weakness, the princess's measurements. Well, I would like to know both. Ah, the weakness of the evil dragon king. It must be, it must be. Oh, I've had a brain fart. Line! Yes, it must be true love. The power of love is the only weapon that can withstand the fangs of the evil dragon king. Of course. Oh, what is going to happen next? Oh, legendary hero, look! The narrator should have been Channer. Gah! There you go, the Dragon King. I am the evil Dragon King, Valvados. I have not harmed the princess. I have been expecting you, Spock. Please help me, legendary hero. Like that? No more shattering. Yeah, here I come, legendary hero, Alfred. I already know your name. Because I watched the anime, your name. And now, legendary hero, here is what will happen to your beloved. A kiss, the power of true love. So you can kiss the princess, you can kiss the king, or you can kiss the evil dragon king. Either way. I obviously... Since I'm trying to woo Tifa, we'll probably pick the princess. Yep. I either pick the princess usually or the evil dragon king. Cloud, I, I, I mean, Alfred. Up here, lips up here. Ah, curses, the power, love. It's all for power. Oh, look. Love has triumphed. Now let's all return and celebrate. Yes, let's. Yes, let's. Eee. Oh, how profound the power of love. And so the legendary hero, Alfred, and our story live on happily ever after. If you thought this play was too hammy, you haven't seen the previous crap I've done in other Final Fantasy games. <laughs> that was funny. Hey, let's go on the gondola next. <laughs> and we are continuing on in our date night. Two, please. Here you are, two tickets. Enjoy the sights of Gold Saucer. I did, I think I did actually get a question on that one. Uh, why do I do that? Uh, whenever I get the chance to be an actor within a game, I tend to ham it. So, oh, how pretty. Again, you could technically do this with Eris, but... See, I'm kind of tempted whether or not I should tell this story, but, um, back when I was a teenager when this came out. Look, Cloud. Yeah, you get this cutscene, and you can even see the Chocobos racing. 
So back when I was in middle school, when this came out, just barely getting into high school, uh, a friend of mine and me were playing together, and we were kind of racing. And he liked to kind of troll me a little bit. Oh, Cloud. Wee. So he kind of trolled me a little bit because he claimed that he had the Japanese version, but it was English translated. I was like, wow, really? So that would be the US version? He's like, no, 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 it's the Japanese version. I mean, it means I get the whole game. And uh, one of the things he actually claimed is that in this scene, if you got Tifa, it's really pretty, isn't it? Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. Go ahead, say it. Get it off your chest. I mean, something. What? Eris would be able to just come out and say it, probably. Well, she's not here, so you've got to say it. Cloud? Sometimes being old friends is hard. I mean, timing is everything. Yeah. Cloud? Kiss me, you fool. I... So, my friend used to troll me at this particular scene because he actually said he saw an additional two minutes of this. If you get Tifa specifically, apparently she goes topless in the in the car. It took me years to figure out that no, that wasn't the case, but as a teenage boy, you can't help but go, ooh, I have to see this. Cloud, I really had fun tonight. By the way, what did you want to say a minute ago? Nothing, nothing. Nothing. It's totally gonna go to topless for you. Oh, look at the time! We should be getting back! <laughs> yes, I was a teenage boy. I did try to do this. It is not accurate. And, uh, I'm not gonna say the friend's name, but good on you, man. You got me. You got me good. And I think he just did it because he knew I liked Tifa. And what the heck is Kate Sith doing at this point? That's Kate Sith. He seems strange. Does he? Really? Huh? What's that? Is that the keystone? Is it? Hey, Kate Sith! Don't you dare run away from me! Well, now we gotta go catch this little SOB because he just ran off with my freaking keystone. No, I could trust that stupid stuffed animal. Chocobo, out of my way. Let's get lots of TP. I don't care. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. I don't care, Mr. Chocobo. I got a stuffed animal to beat the crap out of. All right, he went into the Chocobo racing area. I think that's pretty much where we got him cornered. Get your butt over here, you stuffed animal piece of crap! Get over here! Wait, 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 that's a chopper! You son of a- Over here, the keystone! Well done. You son of a- And I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off for this week. So, first of all, happy holidays to all those who celebrate it, and we will be back next week, and when we come back, Kate Sith has some things to answer for.